Hi guys and welcome to everything in the middle of and in today's video I'll be telling you guys the latest news from the Lord of the Rings TV series. So to kick start it off, HBO have said that they passed the opportunity to do the Lord of the Rings TV series. According to Variety CEO Richard Plepley, I think it is, apologies if you're watching and I pronounce your name wrong, um, he said this was because it already has a little known fantasy franchise called Game of Thrones. Little dig there, even though we're bigger than Game of Thrones. Just saying, I don't mind Game of Thrones, but we're bigger. Um, this decision was also about truly original content. So basically they want to focus on Game of Thrones and nothing else. And he stated that I'd rather own our IP, which is intellectual property, 100%. And I'd rather have the ability to work with a product that is inextricably linked to our brand. He said, also, noting of the 250 million deal, if I'm Jeff Bezos, which is the Amazon's owner, he said that that's monopoly money, basically saying he's a bit of a mug, shouldn't really have spent that much for the TV series, and, and really it's not worth that much, so he's having a little dig again. Um, nice one, um, Richard. Thank you. And we go on to our second news story so far, and that is Christopher Tolkien, who is J.R. Tolkien's son, resigned as director of the Tolkien estate. According to Company's House, Christopher Ruel Tolkien stood down as the director of both the Tolkien Estate Limited and the Tolkien Trust. Christopher, who turns 93 this month, so he's knocking on a bit, is J.R.R. R. Tolkien's third son. The news of his resignation does not come as a complete surprise. In the preface to Beren and Luthien published earlier this year, still need to read that, um, it says that this opens up Tolkien and Middle Earth as possible franchise, so basically means that... Um, People can buy um, the rights now f e a lot easier to the um, probably the Silmarillion, the uh, New Baron and Luthien book, the um, Children of Huron. So it's going to be a lot easier to access those rights now under Tol um, Christopher Tolkien because I think he's a little bit stubborn, you know. But the offices of the Tolkien estate still count among their numbers Tolkien's youngest child, Priscilla, I think I spelt, well, said that right, not spelt it, um, Tolkien and other grandchildren in the family. So that's good, at least we've still got um, members of Tolkien's family in there. At least they're not all gone out of it. Hope they don't resign. So guys, that is this week's news. I hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out mine and my brother's eBay account. We're selling loads of Lord of the Rings products from toys and DVDs. We hopefully should be starting selling Lord of the Rings rings. So I hope you have enjoyed. The link is in the description for that eBay account. So if you want more Lord of the Rings news updates, then please subscribe, comment in the comment section if you think it's a good idea. And at 10,000 subscribers, I'll dye my hair any colour that you choose. So I hope you enjoy and I'm out. Peace.